Right, and again, I would go back to you know the, the two pillars that are gonna be driving this, whether it's commercial groundskeeping, whether it's uh, repetitive construction tasks, whether it's uh, security and inspection, it's gonna be electrification and autonomy. That's gonna be the driving pillars for all of these customers. And as long as we're riding side saddle with them on the part of it that, that we do well, which is autonomy, we don't care whether it's a ro whether it's a robotic groundskeeping mower, whether it's one of the other types of vehicles, our platform will work with any of those. So again, what when you ask why customers get excited, they think, well, gosh, if you guys do our big zero turn mower well, well, we've got a, a vehicle that grades dirt. It has the same type of mission. Can your platform migrate to that type of vehicle? The answer is yes. Nothing that we're doing is hard coded into doing a, gr a groundskeeping vehicle. So that's another part that gets them really excited is Many of these companies have multiple subsidiaries, multiple product lines. So if you're telling us that your product works here, but will also work on these other vehicles, then there's a scaling aspect to it that they get really excited about. So we really do become their partner for autonomy. Mm -hmm. More long-term looking and, and, long -term. and what their, all their other product lines and everything. Right, and through that process, there is this process of discovery where other things come out that we produce that are of high value to both themselves and to their customers. Um, one of them is we collect a lot of data while we're running and the ability to take that data and turn it into something in aggregate that is of value to them in terms of sort of analyzing how their products perform, what their customers use it for, uh, what their reliability is, things like that we play a big part in. Um, the other thing that they're all trying to figure out is what role does, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll just call it data as a service. Um, what are the data feeds that we can be providing them that layer on top of this autonomy platform that may do something completely different? Just like, you know, figure out, well, the ground's usually wet 80% on a day like this, so change your speed or do something like that. Um, or a mapping service that automatically downloads the mission because it's already been done by another robot vehicle. Um, or just something that, uh, um, a machine learning algorithm that's great for uh, uh, environments where there's a lot of contour and terrain change. Um, it may download a completely different type of algorithm. That type of thing is a, a dynamically as a service is again what keeps our long-term roadmap being exciting to these customers.